Well, hey, just a really quick update on the Thien Baffle Dust and Chip Separator. You might remember I just mentioned that in an update video. Um, I was a little worried as we used it a lot for a pretty heavy duty woodworking project um, that you know some stuff was bypassing the baffle and ending up here in the bag. So I needed to get this um, the receptacle out and just see how much ended up in it. Well, I'm really, really happy. I don't know if you can see how much that is, but that's a good six, eight, ten inches worth of um, dust and chips there in this, um, you know, big uh, trash can that is the receptacle. So it's working really well in the end. Um, what I did discover is if you don't have enough airflow, then that's when you see some of this bypass going on. So I find that when I'm using a more restricted tube, like a two and a half or three inch a pipe on one of the inlets, I need to open up the second inlet just a little bit to let a little more airflow to get effective chip separation. Anyway, great news. I'm reworking the uh, ability to um, empty this, um, this receptacle, and uh, that's what you see going on here in the background. Overall, I'm very, very happy with how this chip separator is performing, and I'm just gonna tweak it up a little. While I'm here, maybe just a quick tour since I didn't do that before. I claim there were tons of videos by other um, YouTube channels talking about theme baffles, but since I'm here, might as well give you a quick tour. You can see the, the blower is, the, is there on top and the suction comes up from the center of the baffle. If we can get down underneath the baffle, you can see there's this slot cut all the way around and um, the inlet is up here. So the dust starts on that side of the baffle and uh, is is pushed around by the um, the tornadic action inside the chamber and drops to out the bottom into that big trash can now there were a few design decisions I made you notice this this one is quite a bit taller than some of the other ones you see I read an article that said that that makes the separation more efficient and one other thing let's see if I can Get you over here sort of inside. Yeah, you can see the vacuum, um, the vacuum pipe, the vacuum outlet is actually extended into the baffle, at least half of the diameter of this inlet pipe. That was the other optimization that I saw on the web. Anyway, just a quick update on, um, on this Thien baffle, which I'm really th thrilled with. Um, thanks for watching uh, and I'll talk to you soon, bye.